Hello and welcome to the Manatee County School District Virtual College Fair. We are so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here to speak with us today. My name is Daisha and I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items for you. First, your microphone and your camera are off, so our panelists will not be able to see or hear you. However, you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions for our presenters at any time. If you have questions for a specific school, it would be helpful if you could list the school name in your question as well. Also, this is one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the schedule on the website for other sessions you might be interested in attending. And finally, this presentation is being recorded and it will be available at strivescan.com slash Manatee District Virtual College Fair. I will also share that link in the chat for you. I'd now like to turn it over to our first presenter, Wagner College. Thank you so much. Hi, everybody. Hope everyone's evening is going well so far. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you all. All right, perfect. And let me just move this over. Okay, great. Yeah, so thank you all so much for being here tonight. Um, so as uh, mentioned, uh, I am Deja. I am one of the admissions counselors from Wagner College. Um, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about us. So Wagner, we are a small private liberal arts school. Um, I will talk a little bit about, um, you know, just some things that make Wagner Wagner during our time. Um, so we are a small private liberal arts school. Uh, we are located in Staten Island, so the forgotten borough of New York City. Um, something that is nice about our location being in Staten Island is that even though we are part of New York City, um, Staten Island itself is actually very residential. So we do have a very traditional over a hundred acre campus, but we're only 40 minutes from downtown Manhattan. So you definitely kind of get best of both worlds that way. And being that we are small, uh, we only have about 1800 students or so in our undergraduate population. Um, so we do keep class sizes pretty small as well. Um, really only never larger than about 22 students in a class. Um, and that is considered to be a larger class size actually. Um, most of our classes will get smaller the further you get into your major. Um, and speaking of, we do have over 40 different majors and minors that students are able to choose from. Um, our most popular areas of study are definitely going to be in our health sciences, business, and performing arts. Um, but of course, there's plenty of opportunity in our humanities and our social sciences as well. Um, most competitive programs are definitely going to be our theater uh, and physician assistant programs. Um, we do have a theater performance track um, and we also have a theater design technology management track, which is going to be a little bit more of kind of all the backstage stuff that goes into theater. Um, and then our physician assistant program is a five-year accelerated program. Uh, so those, both, those programs respectively uh, do tend to be a little bit more competitive. So a little bit about the Wagner plan. So even though Wagner is a liberal arts school, we do have an emphasis on being the practical liberal arts of New York City. And that's really gonna come through in the way that students have a very hands-on experience to learning at Wagner. Um, and that kind of comes through in our Wagner plan, which is based around these learning communities. All students are going to go through three different learning communities during their time at Wagner. Um, and the pur purpose of the learning community is really to kind of get you thinking about how what you're learning in the classroom can be applied to real life um, application, really. Um, the premise behind the learning community is that it will take two different courses from two different disciplines, and then they're going to be co-taught by those respective faculty members. Um, you can see here that you will go through a first year learning community, um, an intermediate learning community in your sophomore or junior year, and then you'll have your capstone year in your senior year, uh, which is when you'll actually be working on your senior thesis, and that's going to be paired directly with a senior internship. Um, so yeah, I'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. Something that I always like to mention as well when it comes to our curriculum. Even though we are liberal arts, we don't follow a traditional gen ed track. So we are going to have students really following a key set of skills rather than just saying, okay, every student coming in is going to take English 101, Math 101. Instead, you're following a key set of skills that employers are going to be looking for in professional graduates um, 
after you've completed your degree. So for example, you might fulfill critical thinking as one of your skills, which sure could be fulfilled by taking a traditional science with a lab, but you might also fulfill critical thinking by taking a political science course or a philosophy course. It just gives a little more flexibility for folks to take, uh, take courses that you're actually interested in versus just going through the motion of checking off boxes, right? So a little bit about our campus life. Um, we are small school, but we do have over 70 different student-led organizations. Um, we are also division one for athletics, so definitely plenty of opportunity there. Um, and then of course, as I mentioned, theater is gonna be one of our more competitive majors. So we always recommend taking advantage of going to shows and participating in that. Um, and then also we do have Greek life on campus, um, although only about 13% of our student body will participate. So it's kind of there if you want it, but also not something that you know, you have to participate in to have community on campus. Um, and then of course, back to the location, we do have a free shuttle that goes into New York City. Um, a lot of our students definitely love to take advantage of our location being so close to downtown Manhattan, especially folks that are interested in business. Of course, there's a huge hub there, folks that are interested in the arts. Um, and of course, students that might be interested in our health sciences, we have excellent relationships with a lot of the hospitals in New York City and the surrounding areas as well. So there's definitely plenty of opportunity that way. I did mention that all students during their senior year will complete a senior internship. Um, on average, students graduating from Wagner are somewhere around three or so internships under their belt by the time they graduate, just because our student body does tend to be very proactive. Um, and we do have a very excited career um, center on campus who does a fantastic job at setting students up uh, with various internships and potential job placement down the line. So a little bit about our admissions. So we are going to take a very holistic approach to reviewing applications. So you can see here that we have the average GPA, ACT, SAT scores. Again, these are going to just be averages because we really do focus on each individual student as a whole. Um, but if you did take the, um, or excuse me, let me back up. We are test optional as well. We've been test test optional for about the past decade or so. Um, if you took the SAT or ACT, definitely submit those scores if they uh, if you did well. But if you think they don't really reflect you as a student, that's absolutely okay as well. Um, and you can take a look at some of our deadlines there. December 1st is gonna be our early action and then also our specialized programs. Otherwise, February 15th will be regular decision. And that's about it for Wagner College. So if you have any questions, let's definitely connect. Um, and you can also follow Wagner College on Instagram. Um, and if you DM the account, you can get a fee waiver for us as well. So I'll put my contact information in the chat and I'll turn it back over. Thanks so much. Thank you, Wagner College. Our next presenter is SUNY Cortland. Good evening, everyone. My name is Alyssa. I'm the regional recruiter for SUNY Portland. So I will be your contact uh, person for all things application-wise, any questions that you may have while you're on campus, if you're visiting campus, and then all steps to the application process. I will put my information in the chat as well when I'm finished. Um, so SUNY Cortland is the State University of New York. We are one of 64 SUNY schools. SUNY is the largest institution um, in, in the, um, the largest public institution in the state of New York. Um, so we have about 63 under, 100 undergraduates on our campus. We have a total student body of about 7,000 students. And so a small to medium-sized school in the state of New York. Our average class size is gonna be about 24 with our student to faculty ratio being 15 to one. I do like to mention that all of our classes are gonna be taught by a professor themselves. You're never gonna have a TA teaching the class alone. We do have TAs in each of our classes, which is a student who's taken the class previously and done really well in that course. As far as our location, we are in central New York. Um, so we're about three hours north of New York City and about 45 minutes south of Syracuse. Um, so right in that central New York, in that kind of hour radius, there are about six or seven colleges. So there's a lot of college-focused activities, um, different internship opportunities, different concerts, different student body um, activities, a lot of transportation opportunities. So definitely a lot of college-age kids and focused activities in this area. Uh, we are the number one ranked safest campus in New York, which is always a good thing. We do have the blue light system. So when you're on campus, no matter where you are on campus, you will always see a blue light. Um, that blue light will connect you directly with our university police department. Um, and they will stay on the line with you until they can get with you to you, which will only take about a minute. 
Um, so you should always feel safe when you're walking around campus. We do have a lot of different majors kind of across the board. You can see some of them are gonna be slightly larger. Those are gonna be um, our more popular, our most asked about majors, um, sports management, psychology, musical theater, um, business economics, and then, and then any of our sciences for our pre-programs. We have pre-med, pre-vet, pre-law, pre-PT, and a variety of others. And those are gonna be courses that you'll take either a science or any of our majors for pre-law and then work with, a, with an advisor to help you make sure that your resume um, your application to med school or law school is all set so that when you go on, um, you are prepared and have that um, experience behind you. So a ton of different hands-on experience for our students. Uh, we don't require internships for all of our majors, but some do. We have a really great connection with the NFL, ESPN, um, ABC, uh, Walt Disney World. We have a lot of fun different opportunities. Our career services office is really awesome with matching students in internships on campus. Um, off campus, really kind of anywhere our alumni is located. We have a great alumni network as well. Um, they'll help with um, internships as well as employment after graduation. Our students um, love to work with our alumni and our alumni love to work with our students to kind of have that um, SUNY Cortland pride kind of go through the workforce as well. We have over 80 clubs on campus. It only takes three students and a faculty member to create a new club. So there's always new clubs coming on campus. Each of our majors does have a club, so you can work with um, other students in your major who might be older or younger or have gone through the courses before. Um, that's a great opportunity to buy used textbooks from students that have already taken those courses or get some study um, hints or habits that might help you through those difficult courses if you are having issues, as well as Greek life, um, anything related to sports. Um, we also have a model UN, um, kind of clubs all over the board. There's always something for everyone on campus. We are D3, we do have 25 varsity teams as well as club sports and intramural opportunities. Uh, so all of those are gonna be depending on how interested in sports you are, if at all. Um, really what's kind of the, the fun part about our, our athletics is gonna be the kind of team spirit that goes across campus and through our alumni. Um, there's always well attended games, um, different events before a game weekend. Um, and then our, our football rival game against the college is always played um, last year it was played at um, the Jets Stadium, and this year it's going to be played at the, at the Yankee Stadium. So those are awesome and really fun to, to be a part of, whether you're playing yourself or a student watching or even an alumni coming back to celebrate. The Student Life Center is one of our newer buildings on campus, and this is kind of the heart of SUNY Portland. Um, this has on one side our newest dining hall, and they have a lot of different station opportunities. Um, they have different theme nights, um, and once a semester they do a midnight breakfast. Um, so a lot of cool things happening there. And then on the other side is all things recreation. So upstairs, we have all of our cardio equipment. Um, we have an indoor track, an indoor pool, um, a rock wall, a Zumba studio, a CrossFit studio, cycling room, yoga and meditation, and then some open courts for our, our intramural sports as well. Um, our students are always in here. There's always something for everyone. Um, we also have a gaming room, which is going to have Xbox, PlayStation, all that good stuff. Um, if you're not interested in working out, you certainly can just come in here and hang out. Um, what's important for everyone to look at here is the Future New Yorker Award, and that's going to be $7,500, and that's going to be automatic per year for just for being an out-of-state student. Um, so that brings our in-state and out-of-state costs to about the same. We want to help all of our out-of-state students, um, so we want to make sure that that cost comes down as low as we can get it. Um, and then in your junior and senior year, if you do remain living on campus, we'll give you an additional $2,000 in those years, um, which is just kind of some free money, which is always nice to know. We also have scholarships. Uh, merit-based as well as scholarships that are going to be based on where you went to high school, what major you're in, um, your financial need off your FAFSA, and a variety of other things. So there's always um, scholarship money for everyone. Um, again, this is my contact information. If you have any questions um, through the application process, how to apply, um, what you should include on your application, what you shouldn't, um, or if you're interested in viewing campus in person or virtually, um, I'm happy to help. Thank you, SUNY Cortland. Our next presenter is the United States Merchant Marine Academy. Okay, take it away. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kelly Quarter. Uh, my colleague, uh, Jose Dominguez, and I will be introducing you to the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy. The, the academy is located in uh, Kings Point, New York, which is uh, about 20 miles um, east of New York City. 
Uh, it um, is a federal service academy, one of the five federal service academies, uh, and probably the small, it is the smallest one, so you uh, won't get the name recognition that you do from some of the other service academies. Um, so what is the Merchant Marine? The Merchant Marine is a group of privately owned and U.S. registered merchant ships. So we provide waterborne transportation for uh, passengers and cargoes. Uh, so ships like passenger ships, container ships, tankers, uh, those types of ships. And during the time of uh, during a time of uh, national emergency or a war, the U.S. Merchant Marine serves as a fourth uh, arm of defense for the military. Essentially, we provide the transportation to move um, troops and equipment to areas of conflict or war. Um, what do you get when you graduate from the US uh, Merchant Marine Academy? You have a Bachelor of Science degree. You have a commission uh, as an ensign in the US Navy or uh, a second lieutenant in any branch of the service that you would choose. You also have a U.S. Coast Guard license, which uh, licenses you as either a deck or engineering officer, junior officer to serve aboard merchant uh, merchant ships. As mentioned, um, it is a it is a service academy, so there is an obligation uh, for you upon completion of graduation. Um, you have a couple of different options. One is you can work in the maritime industry and stay in the industry for five years, maintain your Coast Guard license for six years, and be in the Naval Reserve uh, or other branch of the uh, service reserve for eight years. You also have the option, if you would choose, to go active duty into any branch of the military, uh, including uh, uh, NOAA. Uh, it is a very focused school. So we have essentially two fields of study. One is a degree in marine transportation. And that, as you see, will provide some uh, sub uh, opportunities in, in uh, management and logistics. And then there's the uh, engineering program as well, which is marine engineering, which provides uh, different types of certifications and provides you with an opportunity to also uh, have engineering skills to work in a shipyard. I'll turn over to my colleague, Jose. Okay, so um, like Kelly mentioned, my name is Jose Dominguez. We're both graduates of the school back in 1976, and we are the Southwest Florida uh, representatives, uh, admissions representatives for the school. So this slide right here, it talks about the C year. Uh, the, the college program is a four-year program, but you only spend three of the four years in school, at, at the campus. The, um, the first, uh, either, either the first or the second half of your second year, and the same thing with your third year, so your, your uh, sophomores and juniors, they are sent out to sea on merchant ships or on um, military sea lift command vessels to do basically it's it's a lab um, at sea so you have a sea project that you have to uh, finish during that year but you are traveling um, everywhere around the world uh, you could see this slide depicts a lot of um, photos taking all over the all over the world by the uh, midshipmen they have a um, great opportunity to see the world world and uh, interact with people that they're going to be working with in the in the future. Um, as far as, as athletics is concerned, there you could see in here the uh, athletic programs for the men. Uh, we have nine and for the women we have seven. There's a total of um, uh, three clubs, but the the biggest um, athletic program that the school has is what we call the waterfront program, which is a composite of um, capital vessels, uh, power squadron vessels, uh, offshore sailing vessels, um, keel boats, uh, which are medium sized, and then 
uh, dinghies, um, all, all of that is um, the, you know, the, the sailing um, club. Uh, and then also as part of the waterfront is a rowing club or a skull uh, program. Um, the, we have a, a school band. It's composed of only uh, midshipmen. We don't have any active duty um, personnel in the band. So the, the band is um, all student um, uh, led and, and uh, participated. Uh, the, the band um, is usually on uh, presidential inauguration parades, uh, St. Patrick's Day parade in New York City, Macy's Thanksgiving Day parade, and the, uh, the Cotton Bowl uh, halftime show. Uh, if you're a talented musician, um, the band is a big component mm -hmm. of, the, of the school. This page will give you an idea of um, the class of 2023, which is the last one that we have um, 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 stats for, what, what, what the, uh, the class was composed. Um, if you have any questions, this is the um, contact information for the, um, for the academy, uh, their phone numbers, or you could also reach out to us. This is our Facebook uh, page and our profile. And this back here uh, or down here is our generic um, email address. There's three of us that are working this Southwest Florida uh, area. Uh, and we, uh, that's why we have a generic email address. The last thing I will mention is if you are interested in the school and you want to see more about what is happening um, at the school from a student's perspective, go to YouTube and click on this um, uh, link and you will see the, um, uh, it's, it's called one second in the, um, in the life of a um, um, midshipman. So I guess it. That's thank, it. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you, U.S. Merchant Marine Academy. I'd like to share a quick reminder. If you have questions for any of our presenters, please feel free to use that Q&A button on your screen. If you're referring to a specific school, it would be helpful if you could list that school in your question. Our next presenter will be SUNY Oswego. Thank you. All right, I'll share my screen. All right, hello everyone. My name is Miranda. I'm an admissions counselor at SUNY Oswego. I'm also a former student of Oswego. I graduated in 2017 and I was an out-of-state student. So I'm originally from New Jersey and now I'm the out-of-state admissions counselor. So Oswego, it is located in upstate New York. We're right on the shorelines of Lake Ontario. It's an absolutely beautiful setting. Uh, we're only 45 minutes away from Syracuse. Lots to do in the city of Syracuse, like SUNY Portland mentioned, definitely a college town, lots of fun things. And then this is our campus map right down here. So as you can see, we really are right on the shoreline. Many of our academic buildings and residential buildings overlook the lake. When I was a student my first year, I had a gorgeous view of the lake. It was, it was awesome. And then I also like to point out our off-campus facilities. So we have Laker Athletic Hall, which holds our 24 Division Three sports. And then we have Rice Creek Field Station, 200 acres of wetlands, four hiking trails, great spot to go on a hike with your friends to get off campus, and a great spot for some science majors to do hands-on research. So we were founded in 1861 as a teacher's training school. We taught innovative teaching methods for that time. And then in 1948, we joined the SUNY system. So I had no idea what SUNY was as a New Jersey student, but SUNY stands for the State University of New York. There are 64 campuses throughout the state. We are all very distinct institutions with our own personalities and different majors. Um, we have 700 acres of Lake Ontario shoreline, also one mile of Lake Ontario shoreline. Um, because it's one of the Great Lakes, it does get cold and windy and snowy, so you have to be prepared for that. Our students do make the most of it, though. They pile up snow in the quad and do snowboarding tricks. Lots of snowmen happening that time of year, so it can be really fun. We're medium sized with 6,700 undergrads. You know, not teeny tiny, but not too big either. We still like to focus on small class sizes. Our average class size is 24 and our student faculty ratio is 17 to 1. 
And then looking all the way ahead to SUNY Oswego graduation, if you decide to come here, 95% of our graduates are employed or in graduate school one year after leaving SUNY Oswego, with 90% of those students working in the field of their choice. This is a list of all of our majors. So we have 70 majors and 70 minors for you to choose from. Some of the most popular ones among out-of-state students is zoology. We're the only SUNY school with zoology. We offer pre-vet advising as well with that. We also have meteorology, which is a little bit more unique, a highly accredited school of business. Uh, we have technology education and TESOL, teaching English to speakers of other languages. We offer many services free to our students as well. So our career services are free. Uh, they do mock interviews, they do career fairs, they do uh, digital dirt where they dive into your social media pages and see what might be less desirable for, uh, for you know, possible employers to see. We also have a great advisement center, also great advising for undeclared students. So if you're undeclared, no worries, 15% of our student body is undeclared. You get an advisor who's gonna help gear your classes towards what your career goals might be. And you take a college course for credit where you're gonna be taking lots of personality tests to see what career might be best suited for your personality. Internships and co-ops, super important for many different majors. 1,200 of our students participate in those a year. We have basically everything, Disney, ESPN, MTV, IB, IBM, Dell, lots of different options for you. And then studying abroad, uh, we have 80 programs in 24 countries, but the great thing about the SUNY system is that we all share study abroad programs. So if there's someone, somewhere you wanna go that's not on Oswego's list, you can use SUNY Stony Brooks or SUNY Albany's. We all share uh, study abroad programs, that's a huge perk. Campus involvement, we have 200 registered student clubs and organizations that stayed pretty active throughout COVID, which we're super proud of. Basically every club you can imagine, cheer club, Harry Potter club, which I was a part of and I loved, um, badminton club, bowling club. We have 24 division three sports. As you can see from the picture there, we are a huge hockey school. Uh, being so close to Canada, hockey is just a way of life at Oswego. Um, we also have basically every sport except men's volleyball and American football as well. We have a great women's ice hockey team. They just played one of their first games and they won 17 to zero. So I'm really proud of that. I'm excited about that. Um, also, lots of on-campus jobs for our students. No, um, no experience is needed. You can get a job for some extra money in your pocket or to help pay for college. Living on campus, living on Lake Ontario is a unique, really fun experience. We have 13 residence halls, plus the village townhomes, which are these up here, absolutely beautiful, more recently renovated. Variety of different living experiences you can choose from. So if you wanna live in a busy high rise like this one, if you wanna live in a 24 hour quiet floor, if you wanna live in a gender inclusive hall or a first year only residence hall, we have that for you. And now we offer single rooms for first year students if you would like that. We have five dining halls on campus. Um, Four out of five of them are buffet style. They are all connected to residence halls, which is nice. And we're actually number one in central New York for dining experience. So we're really proud of the food we provide our students. And then transportation options, always important to mention for out-of-state students, you are allowed to have your car on campus. If you want your car on campus as a first year student and any year at us we go, you can have your car. Cost of attendance. So similar to SUNY Cortland, um, the in-state tuition is different than the out-of-state tuition. So out-of-state total cost is going to be around 32000 uh, but now we're offering a destination, destination Oswego scholarship. So it will automatically give you $9,000 a year. There are no merit requirements, no certain GPA, SAT is needed. As long as you are admissible to SUNY Oswego, you will automatically receive that $9,000, bringing the out-of-state cost down to in-state cost almost exactly, which is really nice. And then on top of that, you can receive merit scholarships based on your GPA and SAT score. There is no separate application for our scholarships. When we review you for admissions, we're reviewing you for scholarships. So how to apply? You can apply via the Common App or the SUNY App. Um, SUNY app's really good if you're applying to lots of SUNY schools. Common app is good if you're applying to different private and public institutions. Uh, we are SAT, ACT optional for seniors, which is really nice. We're not sure if it's gonna continue beyond that, but I hope it does. And then important dates are right here and online if you ever wanna check it out. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. I will put my information in the chat and thank you so much. I hope you have a good night. Thank you, SUNY Oswego. Our next presenter is the New York Film Academy. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Gil Matos. I am the regional director for New York Film Academy. Uh, although we are New York Film Academy and we're with a lot of New York schools, we actually have a few campuses around the US. Um, New York City was our first campus. Uh, we're actually located uh, in the Battery 
Park section of New York City. So right around the corner from the Wall Street Bull and across uh, the waterway there, the riverway from the Statue of Liberty. Our LA campus, that's our largest campus. So this one is located in between Warner Brothers and Universal Studios and uh, in the Burbank section of LA. South Beach campus, this is where I'm located here in Florida. Uh, if you're familiar with uh, Miami Beach and South Beach, we're located right on Lincoln Road, a pedestrian only walkway that's surrounded by cafes, shops, restaurants, and of course, uh, South Beach is just two streets that way as well. Um, in terms of the different programs that we offer, so we do have uh, bachelor programs in, uh, in most of these programs here. Um, we offer filmmaking and acting for film. Those are the two most popular ones. Those are the ones that we offer at the South Beach campus. But LA and New York offer those as well as musical theater, screenwriting, producing, uh, video game design, animation, documentary, broadcast journalism. Also, if you are an undergraduate student, we do offer summer camp programs at those different locations as well, amongst others. Uh, we also have summer camp programs at Harvard University, uh, in Paris, uh, also in Amsterdam and all over the world. In terms of the programs by length, really bachelor program is the one that, that's gonna be most relevant to you here outside of summer camp programs. We do also have short-term workshop programs and professional conservatories. Uh, one thing to note about our bachelor programs, they are three-year bachelor programs rather than four. Uh, the reason for that is we take less break in the summer, less break in the winter, and it is a very intensive course as well. So you're, it allows you to save that extra year of tuition, extra year of housing, extra year of living expenses as well. What makes us really different uh, in, in terms of what we offer, you know, industry connections, all your teachers are people that are professionals in the industry, working professionals. So you're learning from the people that are out there doing it. Uh, you're doing this on top of the line, cutting edge equipment. So all of your work has that professional quality look to it. We have small classroom sizes. So 12 to one student to faculty ratio and over 50% of our students were international. Um, so uh, coming from all different parts of the world, Japan, China, Europe, uh, South America, coming from all different parts of the world. Um, in terms of our guest speaker series, this is something that we have at our campuses and we try to do them every month, uh, obviously pre-COVID, but now we're starting to do them again. Um, but in the past, we've had such luminaries in the industry as Steven Spielberg, Al Pacino, Jonah Hill, Seth Rogen. Um, so, you know, we, we try to uh, keep this coming so that our students can hear from people that are in the industry and getting it done in the industry as well. One thing we're super proud of is our alumni and what they've been up to. You can check out our alumni page there, nifa.edu slash alumni. But amongst them, Issa Rae, uh, who's uh, the creator and lead actor in, in Insecure, Bill Hader from Barry, uh, Paul Dano, who's the Riddler in the new Batman movie, Aubrey Plaza from Parks and Recreation. Uh, those of you familiar with those movies uh, or the, the, to all the Boys of Love before on Netflix, uh, uh, Laura Conrad, she's an, also an alumni of the New York Film Academy. In terms of uh, what you'll need, pretty standard stuff. The application is online, so when you go to our webpage, you'll see it on the top right-hand corner where it says apply now, uh, but pretty standard stuff. Your diploma, transcripts, uh, narrative statement is an essay describing why you want to go to New York Film Academy, what you want to do afterwards. Don't worry about the TOEFL, IELTS, or Duolingo. That's, this is an international slide. You won't need that, obviously. But there is an audition or a creative portfolio, depending on what you're applying to. If you're doing acting or musical theater, that is an audition. Everything else will require a creative portfolio. This is important because that is going to determine how much money you get awarded in a talent-based award. This is an internal award that we offer based on your audition or based on your creative portfolio. We do also have needs-based tuition awards based on family finances, merit-based awards, um, and we do also accept uh, FAFSA. And uh, as a Florida school, we also accept Bright Futures and Florida prepaid. So that's important to note as well. Uh, we do have housing coordinators at, at all of our different campuses. New York City actually has a dorm room that is in North Brooklyn where students stay. Miami and LA, we have housing coordinate, coordinators that will help you find housing. Most of our students, for example, in Miami, 90% of them live within 15, 20 minutes walking or bike ride from where the school is. So very, again, very centrally located. Uh, questions and answers, please reach out to me via email. Uh, if you have WhatsApp, that's the number there, but that number also works for text messages if that's easier. Uh, we're happy to help you out with any questions that you have about the school, the program, the process. Um, I have just under a minute left, so I will add this, uh, that one of the things that really makes us very unique is that there is such a collaborative 
uh, atmosphere at the school. And what I mean by that is if you're an actor, you have a lot of opportunity to collaborate with filmmaking, producing, documentary students, photography students. So there's a lot of collaboration that exists within the program. So the programs are all very, very hands-on. Um, if you're interested in filmmaking, for example, your first year, you're writing, directing, and editing eight short films of your own and working on 20 additional films. I've seen actors that do anywhere between 30 and 40 short films in one year. So it is very, very hands-on and very intensive. So this is what you want to do. Um, it's a perfect school for that. So thank you very much for your time. I'll leave my contact information in the chat as well. Thank you, New York Film Academy. Our final presenter tonight is Syracuse University. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Tracy Zapola. I'm representing Syracuse University. I'm an associate director in the Office of Admissions here at Syracuse. So I'm excited to be with you and tell you a little bit more about our university. We are smack dab in the middle of New York State, and we are a fantastic campus of students from over 170 different countries. Uh, all 50 states. We have a student population of about 15,000 undergraduate students. It's a great size. It's big enough that you'll always meet new people, yet small enough that you're going to have small classes and really have an opportunity to get to know your faculty members. Talking a little bit about classes, we really want you to round out your learning and customize your academic experiences. We have over 200 academic programs, 100 minors across our 10 schools and colleges. Courses in other disciplines is possible. So for example, architecture students will take real estate courses in the Whitman School of Management. Students in the art program will often minor in entrepreneurship. Because of this array of offerings, Syracuse is a great fit for students who may not know exactly what they wanna do with the rest of their lives. So you have the opportunity to explore different programs, different colleges, and really have a better idea of what it is that you wanna do next. We have numerous top 25 rankings in a variety of different disciplines, including public affairs, uh, our drama program management, all of these have within our 10 schools and colleges. And it really is a nice opportunity to combine programs. So uh, more than half of our students not only have one program of study, but have a second major, or they'll have a major and a minor. So good opportunities for you as a student who really wants to explore your learning. You really want to have the hands-on experience that's necessary. So integrated academic and career advising services available in each and every college. These are specialized for you as a student because it's gonna be very different, I mentioned the architecture student, to get an internship as an architecture student than it is to get an internship as a student, let's say in communications. We want our students to have that customized experience. We are classified as an R1 research institution so we have and invest a lot of time, effort, and money in academic research. And our undergraduate students, in many cases, as early as their first year, are working with faculty on that research. Our students are able to have the opportunity to study abroad as well. We've been participating and having students participate in study abroad programming for over 100 years. We own and operate five Syracuse University centers around the world. On top of that, we have domestic centers located in New York City, Washington, D.C., and Los Angeles, California, where students will sp sometimes spend a semester participating and doing an internship, as well as having that opportunity to take classes in those places. So we really have the opportunity for students to engage and really see their academic learning in front of their eyes. We also want our students to get involved. We have an incredibly diverse student campus. And as I mentioned, students from all 50 states and 170 different countries. And that diversity really transcends the geographic diversity, but also is really diverse in thought and idea. Um, and so our students are, are active, they're involved. They're really excited to be here. It's a residential and inclusive residential community. So we'll keep you engaged, we'll keep you supported. We're con where you're constantly meeting new people. With our 300 clubs and student organizations, we really want you to get involved in student life, whether that is participating in orchestra or perhaps it's uh, getting involved with a fitness at our, our barn center at the Arch, which, which is our integrated health and wellness facility. We really want our students to have this opportunity to try new things and to experience different options. 
We've just renovated our Shine Student Center, so that's pretty exciting. We have expanded our dining options within the Shine Student Center, but we've also created space for our students. Our students lacked space where they could meet with their registered clubs and organizations, where they could meet with the Intercultural Collective, which includes our offices of LGBTQ Resource Center, our Disability Cultural Center, and our Office of Multicultural Affairs. So these are co-mingled together in one space now. And you will have the opportunity um, to just take advantage of all of the things that Syracuse has to offer, including the weather. Uh, it does snow every once in a while in Syracuse. And so we wanna get you out on the hills sledding or have the opportunity to try new things. So now that you wanna to come to Syracuse, what are your next steps? Well, you have to apply, obviously. And um, we are a common app school, so we have the one application. We have two decision deadlines, early decision, which is November 15th. Early decision means that you are committed to Syracuse. This is your first choice program. Regular decision, January 1st is our deadline. When you apply to Syracuse, we do look at your entire application. We really want to get to know you, who you are as a student. So we'll do our best to look through your entire application um, to see if you're a good fit for us and if Syracuse is a good fit for you. We are test optional for fall 2022 and spring 2022. Uh, and that is truly test optional. Whether or not you submit your testing is completely up to you. We do offer interviews for seniors who are interested in applying to Syracuse. They can be found on our website and are available. Interviews are not required for students. So no, no need to interview something that scares you, but just an option if you would want to do that. And we offer generous financial aid. College is expensive, private college is expensive. So we will do our best to meet full anticipated need for all of our students. That comes in the form of traditional financial aid, grants, loans, et cetera, but also uh, the merit scholarships and very generous awards that we have. For merit awards, we do not require any separate application. It is based on your entire application to Syracuse. Oopsies. So that's my spiel. We are here to help you. So I will put my contact information in the chat, just like everyone else. Um, but please feel free to contact us or me directly if you have any further questions at all. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you, Syracuse. We have just a few minutes left for a brief Q&A. So I'd like to invite all of our presenters to join me on video. Awesome. All right, so we have just a few minutes left. So the one question I have for you is, what is one thing you would like students to remember about your college or university? And feel free to uh, respond in the order you presented. Yeah, sure. Thanks so much. So um, I think if you take one thing away, um, it's just noting that Wagner, we are small um, and we are the practical liberal arts in New York. So um, we definitely have a big emphasis on our community um, and we are excited to hopefully see your application. I would say if there's one thing to remember about SUNY Portland is that we have a really big team spirit on campus and off campus. Um, we have a huge alumni network that love to help. Um, whether it be helping you with application, with internships, with job opportunities, um, there's always someone to help you and you're not in this alone. The, uh, the Merchant Marine Academy is obviously a very specialized type of uh, school. We have an extremely active alumni uh, group in, our, in the academy. And I think probably one of the very important things to remember, although there is a service commitment, as, as we talked about uh, when you've graduated, the cost to attend the academy is for a four-year education, less than $5,000 in total. What I want people to remember about Oswego is of course the beautiful lake, the unique programs that we have, zoology, meteorology, the hands-on research opportunities we provide um, and the great faculty that we have. Uh, but New York Film Academy, I would say that just how practical and hands on our programs are, uh, I think, you know, this is what we do. This is all we focus on is everything related to cinema, visual and performing arts. So um, it's very, very hands on. So if you want to do this and you want to get into it, get prepared to work because you're, you're going to be simulating what you're going to see out there in the real world. And last but not least, what I would want you to remember about Syracuse University is that our students are active and engaged on campus. We're a great size institution of 15,000 undergraduate students. 
which means that you'll be um, in a great place with a lot of school pride and a lot of school spirit, but yet small classes, average class size is 26. Wonderful. Thank you all so much for your presentations tonight. We are out of time, so I'd like to share my screen with everyone just one more time. A few final remarks for you. So thank you to our guests who joined us tonight, as well as those who are watching live on demand. For our live viewers, when you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick five question survey. We appreciate any feedback you can provide. I encourage you to check back on the schedule and sign up for more sessions tonight. And you'll be able to find this session's recording alongside other session recordings at strivescan.com slash Manatee District Virtual College Fair. Thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful evening.